I'm Jason Williams with TrueTest. Today we're going to answer some questions that you might have for incorporating scale systems into your business model. We can put scales under any squeeze. We just need to make sure that it's set on top of a concrete pad. We need the concrete nice and flat so that the load cells of the load bars can determine a weight that's fast and accurate on the screen of the indicator. The true test indicators can work with other people's load cells like we were showing here today. We just have to do a simple span calibration procedure. We can incorporate electronic ear tag readers into the scale head and our products will work with other scales. Our readers will work with other people's indicators. You can transfer the information to a mainframe computer if you need to, or you can capture that information right on the indicator. The XR5000 that we're showing today can figure out proper dosage based on the weight of the animal. It can keep track of the withdrawal times and the serial or lot number of those products to fit better with the verified beef programs that we're seeing right now. We can use a scale head to sort animals into more common or like feeding pens. We can sort them by breed, by owner, by color, even by what they're gaining so that everything fits better in your feedlot and if you have a, a buyer that comes around and says he wants a certain type of animals you can use the scale head to sort through those and pull those animals out of separate pens to fill the trucks quickly and easily. When incorporating electronic ear tag readers there's a few things that you should think about. There are some companies that make a neck bar reader. They work very well and they're up near the head of the animal. Once it's restrained the tags are read fairly easily. We have a system that incorporates a panel that will allow tag capture as the tag passes in front of the panel itself. A drawback to a, any panel system, ours or our competitors, once they're mounted, they're fixed to the side. They do not go up, they do not go down. And if the ear tag doesn't pass in front of that panel, it won't read the tag. So if it goes underneath it or above it, you won't get a tag read. We see a lot of people utilizing a stick reader because you can lift it up, you can reach down, and we don't see um, the misreads that we do with other systems. Some people incorporate a stick reader with a neck bar and or with a panel reader setup. Whether it's a true test setup or uh, the Destron, they both work in the same way in that you have the reader separate from the antenna portion. Stick readers incorporate that all into one unit. So keep in mind there are many models available within the line of true test indicators and the other companies that make scales. So just do some research, talk to the salespersons, the people that are going to be helping you out. Make sure you can get some support in the field. Um, make sure it's a product that'll work in cold weather. We don't have a touch screen unit. We have raised buttons on our indicators so that we can wear a set of gloves and you can work when it's 20 below um, outside and still be able to capture that information. Do some research, look at what's out there, try and figure out what works best for your operation and contact us if you ever have a question.